Hello everyone. Today we're going to do a pack switcher of CCNE 2 version 73.2.8. Pack switcher investigate a VLAN implementation. Here's a dressing table. Include three switches. Each switch is connected to three pieces. So there are totally nine pieces. Objectives part one, observe broadcast traffic in a VLAN implementation. Part two, observe broadcast traffic without VLANs. Background, in this activity, you will observe how broadcast traffic is forwarded by the switches when VLANs are configured and when VLAN, when VLAN are not configured. Instructions part one, observe broadcast traffic in a VLAN implementation. Step one, ping from PC1 to PC6. PC1, ping PC6, PC6 is here. And we're going to observe how the broadcast traffic goes. All right, we need to go to simulation mode. But currently we're in the real-time mode, which is default mode. Now we switch to simulation here, click. There's a simulation panel event list. Still empty yet? That's because nothing happened yet. Let's go to this. Um, Envelope icon, add a simple PDU, click it, and the cursor will change to an envelope with a plus sign. Then we click PC1, which is a source, then click PC6, which is a destination. So to pack it, it shows up here. One is ICMP and one is ARP. ICMP is for ping using layer three IP address. ARP stand for address resolution protocol, which is for mapping an IP address to a MAC address. Let's click this capture and forward button, this either these two button, this or this. Click it, we'll see how this broadcast packet goes. So from PC1 to S2, click again from S2 to S1 not go to PC2 and PC3. That's because PC2 and PC3 are in two different VLANs, which are VLAN 20 and VLAN 30. And PC1 is in VLAN 10. Switch to switch is trunk. So the packet across this trunk to S1, click again from S1 to PC7 and S3, PC7, Go to PC7 is because PC7 belongs to VLAN 10. It's the same as the PC1 does, but not to ping, not to, not goes to PC8 and 9 because these two pieces are in two different VLANs, VLAN 20 and VLAN 30. So now this packet travels to switch 3. So click again to PC4. PC4 belongs to VLAN 10, but not to not go to PC6. PC6 is destination, but the packet not come to here. That's because PC6 is in VLAN 30. All right, so click again. So PC1, here's the envelope with a cross, a red cross. That means this packet not sent out. That is a pin fail. Is PC1 not receive any ARP reply? Here, let's answer the questions. Mm. Here, were the ping successful? Here, the ping successful is from PC1 to PC6. Explain, the answer is no. That's because PC1 and PC6 are in two different VLANs. Normally, when a switch you receive a broadcast package, it will forward this packet out all other ports. But if v VLAN is configured on switch, VLAN will segment the broadcast traffic. Bro broadcast traffic is contained within the VLAN. In other words, the VLAN a broadcast packets cannot travel to other VLAN. 
So they only can travel within the same VLAN. So that's why PC1 and PC6 are not, are not able to communicate each other because uh, these two PCs are logically separated by the VLAN. That's uh, the answer. So next, we need to change the destination. We ping from PC1 to PC4. Okay, we let's go to, we can see the results from the PDU. We toggle here, the PDU window, PDU list window. Yeah, here from PC1 to PC6 failed. All right, so next we switch change the scenario. We're in the scenario zero, which scenario zero is PC1, pin PC6. We add a new scenario, it's new here, new here. Okay, this time we're going to pin from PC1 to PC4. So still go to this envelope icon, add a simple PDU, click it and uh, click PC1 source. PC4 destination. Okay, so two packets show up here, ICMP ARB. Then click this uh, capture and forward button. Let's go to S2 and S1. And it's the same PC, PC7 and S3. PC7 is uh, belong to PC uh, VLAN 10. Click again. So S3 to PC4. PC4 is the destination, all right? So PC4 reply this ARP request. So S3 to S1, go back to where they come from. S2, the finally return back to PC1. So P PC1 receive the ARP request reply from PC4, so got the MAC address of PC4. So now PC1 can ping PC4 now. So this is ICMP, ICMP is for ping. Go to S1, S2, PC4, okay, and PC4 reply. All right, so go back to S1, S2, and PC1 receive the reply. So success, successful. So PC1 to PC4 is successful. All right, so the answer here, uh, the words of ping successful. Yes, that's because PC1 and PC4 are in the same VLAN. Examine the simulation panel. It's one, why is one sent to PC7, that's because the PC7 is mm, belong to VLAN 10. Okay, so we finished part one. Part two is observe broadcast traffic without VLAN. That means we need to delete VLAN from switches. So step one, clear the configuration on all three switches and delete VLAN database. Okay, let's go back to the real-time mode. Real-time mode here, real-time mode. And delete the startup configuration on all three switches. What command is used to delete the startup configuration? Okay, let's go to switch two. CLI, command line interface, enter. Here's a user executive mode, enable to enter the privileged executive mode. And from here, we can delete the startup configuration. So the command we use is erase start up config confirm. Yeah, we delete. Next is where the VLAN file stored in the switches. VLAN file. So we use the command DRI, DIR directory. Okay, so from here we can see VLAN.DAT. This is the VLAN file name, which is stored or located in flash of switch, flash. 
All right. So next, we need to delete this VLAN file. Delete this VLAN file from Flash or from the speech. So we use the command. Is what command you use? We use the delete. We have two command can use. One is command with the location. One is without the location. First, we start from with the location. Is the command um, delete flash column slash vlan dot dat. Yeah, from here, this command with flash. This is the location. Flash is the location. All right, but I'm not going to can delete from from this command. I'm going to show you another command. So I use no. Okay, so confirm dir again. Yeah, the VLAN dat is still there. VLAN file is still there. So I use another command. Delete VLAN dot dat. So directly delete that. VLAN file from here. The delete file is yes, delete flash. So here flash is the default location. So let's confirm. All right, delete it. Let's confirm if it's deleted, DIR again. So, okay, so now in the flash, only one file is here, the bin file is, which is the operating system. So no more VLAN. Okay, before there's VLAN, now no more VLAN. That means the VLAN file is deleted from the switch or from the flash. Okay, we're going to do the same thing to S1. S1, CLI, enter, enable, and delete startup configuration. So erase start up config confirm then delete the vlan file so use delete vlan dot dat yes all right so we do the same thing to s3 cli okay enable and uh, Delete startup configuration, erase, start up, conf um, config. All right. Then delete VLAN file, delete VLAN.dat. All right. Confirm. OK, so now we delete the VLAN file from all these three switches. So. So now let's, um, we need to, okay, we need to reload the switch. After delete, we need to reload. Okay, reload. We just use the reload. Oh, I, it's very simple. The command reload. Okay, confirm. Yeah, reload. So this link light turn red. So the reload starts. Reload, reload is like a reboot. Okay, so we load S1 as well. Reload. Confirm. Yeah, reload. Then we load, reload S3. Confirm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we can use this uh, fa the faster forward button to speed up the process. Okay, so turn, turn green. Usually we uh, reload these three switches at the same time. So this here, this one, this button is power cycle button is to reload these three switches at the same time. So clear here, configuration is not in the startup configuration will be lost, reset network, yes. So all turn red, then speed up, speed up. 
turn green. Okay, so reload. So now we can, we delete the VLAN from the switches. So now we observe how the broadcast traffic goes. Okay, here, let's go back to the scenario zero. Scenario zero is ping from PC1 to PC6. So go here, here. Let's go back to scenario zero. All right, scenario zero. Let's go to simulation mode. Okay, so click this capture and forward button. So packet from PC1 to S2, then click again. So this time, this broadcast packet is forwarded by switch two to all other devices, all the ports, include PC2 and PC3. As because uh, we delete, we just delete the VLAN configuration on the switches. So no more VLAN, so no more um, broadcast traffic segmentation. So the packets will go or will be forwarded out all the other ports. So click again, spread out to all the devices here. Click again and spread out and click again. So no ARPA request to respond to PC1. So PC1 here is a red cross. That means the packet not sent out and the ping fail. All right, so let's uh, answer the reflection questions. The one, if the PC in VLAN 10 sends a broadcast message, which devices receive it? The answer is all PCs in VLAN 10. Two, if a PC in VLAN 20 sends a broadcast message, which devices receive it? The answer is all PCs in VLAN 20. If a PC in VLAN 30 sends a broadcast message, which devices receive it? The answer is all PCs in VLAN 30. Four, what happens to a frame sent to a PC in VLAN 10 to a PC in VLAN 30? The answer is packet will be dropped because uh, these PCs are in different VLANs. Five, in terms of ports, what are the collision domains on the switch? The answer is each port is a separate collision domain. Six, in terms of ports, what are the broadcast domains on the switch? The answer is each VLAN is a broadcast domain. Okay, we finished this package, sir. Investigate VLAN implementation. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please thumbs up and uh, subscribe my channel, share with your friends. See you next time.